Let me, let me do one more example here for you guys in the form of, a, of an MCAT-like question. And um, and see how you guys do with this one here. So, so question states, so if a farmer is lifting haystacks and is barely able to tell the difference between 75 pounds and 100 pounds, applying Weber's law, the farmer would notice the difference in between which haystacks. So what's the first thing that's going through your mind just listening to the question, reading the question, he, knows, he barely notices the difference between 75 pounds and 100 pounds. What's going through your mind right now? You should have just light bulbs flashing. Let me help you guys out. What would be the JND? Exactly, 25. So we got 75 pounds and 100 pounds. Right? So the JND is going to be equal to 25 pounds. Okay. And so if we, if we find the Weber's constant, because this is going to be able to make the most important value is the percentage change of, you know, that he notices and that we would have to notice in other different haystacks that he's, that he's picking up here. So let's calculate this out. So the JND is 25. The original stimulus was, um, was 75 here. All right, so that is going to be a fraction of 0 0.5. 3, 3, or a 33% change, okay? So now the answer choices would be, so we'll do um, 10 pounds and 12 pounds, and we'll do 20 and 30. Then we'll do 200 and 250, and 250, and then finally 100 and 130. These are all in pounds here. Okay, so do you guys notice any of these answer choices here? So we'll just put A, B, C, and D. Any answer choices here that you guys could immediately eliminate? Why D? Okay, let's just, uh, I want you to be careful because, so what I was trying to get at is if you were to look at this, so at this original stimulus, the difference threshold was, was 25 pounds. So if you had anything greater than 75 and the difference was only 25 pounds, that's automatically, you can, you can knock that out because you know as the original stimulus increases, so will the JND. So here, we do have a, 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 you know, more than more than 25 pounds, but we don't know. I mean, it's not safe enough to cross that out immediately. So let's just let, let's say, for example, if we doubled this, 150, and um, you know, 200. Or right, we don't have that answer choice either. So our answers are all pretty good. We can't eliminate anything off the bat. So let's just work this out one by one. So the JND here, um, or sorry, rather. Um, so the JNG here would be 2 pounds over the original stimulus of 10, right? And that's going to give us A, 0 0.2, which is equal to 20% change. So would you be able to notice that one? No, no right? Because it's less than 33% change. So mark off A. Okay, what about B? So we have 10 pounds is the JND, the difference between the two. And the original was, was 20 0.5, which is a 50% change. Yes, he would notice that difference. Let's just make sure that we um, got these other ones right here. Sorry, I didn't mean to mark that one out. So we have 50 pounds over 200, and that's going to be 0 0.25. So we can mark that one out. And then the last one is 30 pounds is the JND, right? The difference between the two. The original was 100, so 0 0.3, which is a... 30% change. So, so again, and this is just saying, it, it's not to say he wouldn't notice these differences here, but um, he at least wouldn't notice it half of the time. 
because the, his, his difference threshold is, you know, is the constant here is a 33% change. So at any, at any weight of any haystack, he's going to have at least, he's going to have to have at least a 33% change for him to notice the differences between the two different stimuli. You guys good on that? Questions on that, on that problem there? Awesome.